Hi, good evening. Dwayne Cofield with KJL Lace. We have the honor of sitting here with our uh, managing North American director of the Mo Mobile Marketing Association, Michael Becker. Hi. How are you? I'm great. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. Um, well, starters, uh, let's tell a little bit about yourself and, and um, what this event has done for you. Well, as you, as you know, my name is Michael Becker. I'm the North American Managing Director of the Mobile Marketing Association. Um, and I kind of play three roles of industry entrepreneur, academic, and, and volunteer. So I'm actively involved with the trade association in within the North American region and helping run and grow the region. Um, I had sat on the MMA Mobile Market Association Board of Directors actually for about five or six years prior to taking on the uh, staff role. And then in addition to that, I started a couple companies in the industry, um, working on my doctorate in the emergence of the mobile channel and its use for marketing, and then I write books as well. Okay, now you said you write books. Yes. What books do you write? Well, most recently I, I wrote, I, I wrote um, Mobile Marketing for Dummies. It uh, just came out about a month ago, and it's uh, part of the Dummies Wiley title. And it's really geared towards helping people understand at a very, sim uh, I don't want to say simplistic, but at a, very, a fairly basic level of what mobile marketing is. So it gives clear definitions of their various pieces of mobile marketing and how we can do it. And then, and then it gives actual steps, and uh, actionable steps on how you can actually get engaged in mobile uh, immediately. It'll say, you know, follow these 10 steps, you can start running, running and launching mobile programs. Yes. Speaking of which, um, you stated that you were not, you're a working entrepreneur, um, and we represent an audience of African Americans, primarily African Americans, who look for a lot of entrepreneurship opportunities. In your book, you say you give step by steps. Can you offer any advice on anyone entering into the mobile space in the entrepreneur? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the first and foremost thing is to realize that when looking at mobile, um, it's, it's very fragmented and incredibly complex. So the first thing to think about when realizing with mobile is there's actually two things going on. I can market through mobile and through the media channels. And there's actually eight unique media channels engaging consumers through the mobile device. You have your messaging channels, SMS, MMS, and email. Then you have the voice, mobile internet, applications, and then content. And each one of these unique uh, channels gives us the opportunity to engage consumers uh, through the experience that is offered through that particular channel. So directly engaging consumers through the digital mediums of mobile is critically important and should be part of your strategy. But you also need to realize that mobile, unlike any other media, can also be used to market with mobile. What that means is I can mobile enhance my traditional media. I'll put call to actions, like a text message and call to action on a billboard, in print, uh, in radio, etc. To invite and engage and create the awareness uh, for the ability to then directly engage customers through mobile. And I'll give you a really great perfect example of that. Um, in January of this year, we all aware of the, uh, of the earthquake, earthquake in Haiti. Terrible, terrible, you know, loss of life, devastating for, for the country. And with a matter of days, we were able to pull together a mo the industry, when I say we, the industry in the North American market was able to pull together a mobile giving program and you had people like Hillary Clinton get up on television. You had players like ESPN put it all over their websites and in the television shows, encouraging people to text Haiti to 90999 and donate $9 to Haitian Relief. And within 10 days, we raised over $40 million for Haiti Relief. And that's a perfect example of directly engaging customers through mobile, but by mobile enhancing the traditional media to create awareness. Now, for the entrepreneur, so there's the entrepreneur, you need to realize there is so much possibility with mobile. I can create awareness with it. I can create branding with it. I can create customer loyalty with it. I can, I can create cus, uh, customer care and support. So, for example, um, Kaiser recently uh, uh, integrated uh, text messaging call to actions and for their patient reminder services. And they saved over $275,000 in 30 days out of their business by using mobile for customer care. But then they also created more efficiencies for their patients because it reminded the patients that they had an appointment. So there's just so much that you can do with mobile. So like in any, any entrepreneurial endeavor though, you want to focus. And what you want to do is you want to realize who is my customer? How are they uniquely using this medium of mobile growth, both in a direct way as well as in an indirect way? And what value will you be delivering with them? And if you think and answer those questions, you'll get it right. Okay, well let me ask you one question. Let's say that I'm the level four merchant. Okay, I'm four meaning a mom and pop store. Okay. Okay, I'm a mom and pop store on the corner. And um, I'm working all day. The benefit of doing a mobile marketing campaign for me, meaning that I may have a 99 cent store mm -hmm. here on the corner. Okay, that benefit, how could I 
utilize that benefit of running a mobile campaign yeah. to get people. Yeah, great example. So keep in mind, as I was saying, that was kind of a somewhat of a long-winded area because that mobile provides so much opportunity and so much possibility. But for that unique case study example, what you want to realize is mobile provides global reach, but what's really important is the local relevance, right? How does it relate to me? So the areas that where mobile is really growing huge uh, in a really big way for, from a local relevance perspective is local search. So people, if I'm looking for something, I'm going to pull out my phone, I'm going to text message, and I'm going to find something out. Or um, I just did this the other day. I was looking for a new suitcase. So I walked into the suitcase uh, into the store, and I used the scan savvy and or red laser um, uh, application on my phone. I scanned the UPC code on the product, and it actually told me a mile and a half down the road hmm. I could buy cheap. Right. So to the extent that um, that small mom and pop has an internet presence, integrates themselves with Google, does the traditional digital media capabilities, they then can link their ability to engage with the consumer locally to be able to interact with that. Now, key thing, especially for the local mom and pop, they're, they're, they've got to focus on business on a day-to-day -day basis. So they need to look for partners. And so especially in that hyper-local marketing environment, that local mom and pop that really only cares about that small DMA around their business, mm -hmm. they'll want to go work with somebody like, uh, like a ValPak or a money mailer where they can go and um, you know, mail direct mail pieces to the local households around their business. And money mailer will actually mobile enable that direct mail piece, put a call to action, text message pizza to 686868, right? Okay. And then what that will do and what money mailer has shown by the small, medium-sized business, sending that postcard to the local households around their business, it increases the redemption rate of that coupon, that initial coupon or, or discount that they sent by three and a half to one. That will then also allow the small, small to medium-sized business to create a permission-based opt-in list that they can later remarket to. And when they do that, money mailer statistics show that they get average response rates of eight to 14%. So really, really critical things. So they can work with programs like Money Mailer, or they can go and work with companies like Where or Point that provide hyper-local marketing solutions for specifically for the small to medium-sized business. So there are players within the ecosystem that are specifically designed and geared to support the small and medium-sized business.